with Stark was some poetry. Um, and I picked a few poems, and I'm going to start us off, but I have some other people in the audience who are going to continue us on. And these are poems that speak, I think, to the student experience, maybe to a student experience we want to change, but also to what, what should we bring to this work? What are some ways that we can think about this work? So I'm going to start um, with this first poem. And it's by Jane Kenyon. It's called Trouble with Math in a One Room Country School. I know, I'm an English teacher bringing in poems about math. <laughs> but that's okay. The others bit their heads and started in. Confused, I asked my neighbor to explain a sturdy, bright cheeked girl who brought raw milk to school from her family's herd of Holsteins. Anne had a blue book bookmark, and on it, Christ revealed his beating heart, holding the flesh back with his wounded hand. Anne understood the vision. Miss Moran sprang from her monumental desk and led me roughly through the class without a word. My shame was radical as she propelled me past the cloakroom to the furnace closet, where only the boys were put, only the older ones at that. The door swung briskly shut. The warmth, the gloom, the smell, a sweeping compound clinging to the broom soothed me. I found a bucket, turned it upside down, and sat, hugging my knees. I hummed a theme from Hayden that I knew from my piano lessons and hardened my heart against authority. And then I heard her steps, her fingers on the latch. She led me blinking and changed back to the class. I dreamed, I stood up in class, and I said aloud, Teacher, why is algebra important? Sit down, he said. Then I dreamed, I stood up once more and said, Teacher, my heart is falling asleep, and it wants to wake up. It needs to be outside. Sit. Down, he said. It may be that when we no longer know what to do, we have come to our real work. And that when we no longer know which way to go, we have come to our real journey. The mind that is not baffled is not employed. The impeded stream is the one that sinks. Mm. To be of use. The people I love the best jump into work head first without dallying in showers, and swim off with sure strokes almost out of sight. They seem to become natives of that element, the black, sleek heads of seals bouncing like half-submerged balls. I love people who harness themselves, an ox to a heavy cart, who pull like water buffalo with massive patience, who strain in the mud and the muck to move things forward, who do what has to be done again and again. I want to be with people who submerge in the task, who go into the fields to harvest and work in a row and pass the bags along, who are not parlor generals and field deserters, but move in a common rhythm when food must come in or the fire be put out. The work of the world is common as mud. Botched, it smears the hands, crumbles to dust. But the thing worth doing well done has a shape that satisfies, clean and evident. Greek amphoras for minor oil, hoping bases that held corn, 
are put in museums, but you know they were made to be used. The picture cries for water to carry, and a person for work.